Hi, Stamping and Crafting friends. Welcome to Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Today I'm going to be sharing some unique and beautiful card designs that are made with the New Horizons Designer Series paper. This is absolutely amazing paper and made making these cards so easy. I've used three different stamp sets, On the Horizon, Grassy Grove, and one of the new celebration stamp sets that is available for free for my sentiments. That stamp set is called Special Moments and it includes a ton of amazing different sentiments, a lot of which are small and perfect for this card layout. While we won't be using any dies today, you might be interested in knowing that the Grassy Grove and On the Horizon stamp sets both have coordinating sets of dies. And when you buy a stamp set and die bundle, you get a 10% discount. Now the New Horizons Designer Series paper is a variety pack of papers with 12 double-sided designs. So there are a wide range of papers in this pack and this is a stamp club project. So each person got unique pieces of this paper to design with. Now in project kits, I sent strips of three by six pieces of this designer series paper. So each person could design their card in the way that they would like. So as an example, this piece of designer series paper was cut a little bit at the bottom, maybe five eighths of an inch at the bottom, and then the remainder at the top. Each of these designer series paper pieces was cut down to three by four inches to create all the various designs that I made. These card designs were inspired by Rachel Tessman. She actually cut her designer series paper into four, so she used three by three pieces to make a smaller focal piece than the ones I did. I wanted to show a larger swatch of the designer series paper, so I only got two out of each sheet, and I do love how they turned out. If you choose to do a larger focal piece like I did, you may find that and in some cases there were scraps like the one I'm showing here and with those pieces that were two inches by three inches across, I was able to make some adorable little three by three mini cards using some of the images from the Grassy Grove and New Horizons stamp sets. Now let's go ahead and make a few of these cards. Now for this particular piece of designer series paper, it really looks like a natural scene without too much imagination. So you can see I'm looking at my original version of my card and kind of planning out how much sky I want relative to how much grass or land I want. You might decide that you want less land and more sky or vice versa. But by having a three by six piece, you get to decide. Next, I'm gonna do some stamping. Now these birds are sometimes hard to tell what's upside down and what's right side up. So I like to look at them and make my decision carefully. And I'm just gonna do some birds across the top portion so that they're sort of flying from the lower left to the top right corner. And then I'm going ahead and stamping my grass. Now the first time I stamped it, I didn't get a good image, so I just went over and did it a, a second or third time. Probably better if it was just single stamping, but it turned out okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put some multi-purpose liquid glue on the back side of my designer series paper and attach it to my black cardstock. My black piece already has adhesive on the back side. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my card body ready and set up to stamp my sentiment. Now I'm going to be stamping on the white panel that's on the front of the card. And when I do this, I always like to do my stamping first before I attach it to the front of the card. So in case I make a mistake, I can always tar turn my cardstock over and do it a second time on the back. Now I do already have adhesive on the back side of my focal piece, so I just laid it down there very softly and I didn't press it down yet. So I've got my sentiment there on the back side of my block with my grass. 
and then I'm just going to stamp it right there on the bottom. And I've got adhesive on the back of my white piece, so I get to just go ahead and attach it directly to the front of the card. I'm all done with my card. How easy was that? Now I'm going to show you one other card with one of the other designer paper patterns. Now with this particular designer series paper piece, it requires a little more sort of creative visualization as far as what to stamp, what images might work. And so I played around a bunch with the trees, turning the paper over, which way should be the sky, which should be the land. It could really go either way. So in the end, I decided to use the little grassy flower image that I used on the first card and decided that some of the white spaces looked like water to me. And so sort of a little pond or something like that with grass at the water's edge. And then I chose the sort of peachy area to look like sky and stamped my birds again. in the same way that I did on the first card. And then I toyed around with, would there be some more grass in the mix? I stamped one small little bit just below that first image on the right, and then just decided to stop there. And I did cut my piece down off camera, and all the pieces to my card base are all ready to go. I already stamped my sentiment. So all I need to do now is attach that focal piece and all the pieces together. And there are my two finished cards. Now I have a scrap piece left over from making my other cards. And the piece I have is a 2 by 3 inch piece. So I thought it'd be fun to quickly put together one of those small 3 by 3 mini cards. So for this one, I'm going to stamp my trees in the lower left-hand corner. And I'm going to do two of the trees down low so that I have enough room on the left for a third tree a little bit higher and to the left. And then I'm going to use those magic birds again up off to the right. I've got a little bit of white glue I'm going to put on the back side. and just attach it to its black backing. And then I got a white piece for the inside of the card. And then all I need to do is attach my focal piece to the front of my mini card. And my little card is all done. I love making these little mini cards to insert with gifts I may send in the mail. When I just want to write a small brief little note. But I want it to also be special. So here's the full set of my cards that I've laid out here as I'm assembling my 3x3 card. You'll find photos of each of these individual projects on my blog. And I've also taken photographs of each of these focal pieces overlaid on the particular designer series paper piece that they were cut from. And I did this for all eight designs. I've just shown a few of them here so you know what I'm talking about. So make sure to go to my blog to see all of those if you want some help in figuring out how to cut your designer paper pieces. As a reminder, this is one of three of the current Stampers Club projects. If you'd like to receive free classes to go in the mail, plus free Stampin' Up! products, you may want to join my online Stampers Club. To learn more, click on the little I in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, or click on the link in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed my project today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for spending some time with me today, and happy crafting!